I got this. Oh, I got a little birdie sent me something. Hold on. I got tea. I'm trying to send it to myself. Simon is going after the bloggers who was inaccurately reported this stuff. Simon said he is going to protect his reputation at all costs. And can you blame him? Can you blame him? If you, you married somebody who was on a reality show who had 7 million, however many millions of followers, who had access to a show that is, is streamed into I don't know how many millions of homes, would you not want your reputation protected? It really don't have nothing to do with, with the house. But don't go on TV saying that you, he broke, he ain't got no money, he a scammer, he about to be deported, all of those things. Mm, hold on, we got something. You said a fake butt won't help. Oh, child. You said, I knew the bloggers was there. You knew it, child. Hold on, I got it right here. Ooh, he got the lawyers on it. Y'all know, let me put my, let me put my little... My little straight from the A's up for the people steal it. The people be stealing my content. Hold on. You in trouble. You in trouble. Not months and Steve and Terry Shropshire, the writer. Oh, and he sent it to the register agent. Oh, look. At, oh, child, they in trouble. It says uh, demand for immediate retraction pursuant to OCGA 551-511. This law firm represents Mr. Kubadia and is sending this letter on his behalf regarding the article authored by Terry Shropshire. I have a story. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it now. I'm going to save it. Authored by Terry Shropshire and published by Rolling Out on November 24th, 2024. Title: Portia Williams gives real reason for divorce from Simon Guobadia. The article contains false and defamatory and legally actionable statements regarding Mr. Gu Guobadia. Specifically, the article falsely alleges Guobadia is in a precarious position as the federal government notified the media that they are probing his allegedly unscrupulous business practices that could subject him to deportation to his Nigerian homeland. Hold on. Y'all said y'all want to see. Hold on. We want to go to roll it out. We need to see what this is. Sir. Hold on. Y'all know we got to do our research. Roll it out. You know, roll it out had lied on me before, child. They, they had uh, posted and said that I owe Chris Stokes all this money, honey, and it took years for me to get it down. I had sent legal letter after legal letter, and they refused to take it down, and I was like, do I sue? But then finally, they took it down, you dumb bitches. Anyway, I'm digressing. Portia Williams gives real reason for divorce. Oh, that, why they use that picture of Portia? They messy. They is messy, honey. Uh, it says Portia Williams informs fans of the Real Housewives of Atlanta the actual reason she is divorcing her husband and battle businessman Simon Guabadia Williams, 43, and Guabadia, 60, are enrolled in a contentious dissolution of their marriage in an Atlanta court over the validity and enforceability of their prenuptial agreement. Portia Williams gives her reasons for the divorce, but after months of speculation, speculation and innuendos, Williams makes her triumphant return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta series by informing her 8 million followers of the real reason behind the marital implosion. I'm not going to let a foreclosure notice come to my house and I can't pay it. I had to protect assets, end quote. Well, body is in a precarious position as the federal government notified the media that they are probing his allegedly unscrupulous business practices that could subject him to deportation to his Nigerian homeland. When did the federal government notify the media? Who writes this? When did the federal did the federal government call the media? Did they have our phone number? I'm digressing. Well, Badia was triggered enough that he swooped down into the comment section of the neighborhood talk to clap back at Williams' statement. Keep in mind that Guabadia has just filed a lawsuit against Williams at the same time that he's divorcing her. I would never fight to live in a house about to be foreclosed on with my clan, especially one I have no equitable interest in. Make the narrative make sense, he said, while adding the shrugged emo shoulders emoji. Gobadia and Williams were married for 15 months before the mother of one filed for divorce in February 2024. Neither party has yet to respond further publicly, though Williams had plenty to say about her return to Real Housewives and what fans could expect to see.
next season. What this? Oh my god, the season. fashion! Thank you thank you. What would you describe this look as? Um, I would call this sexy, wild. Y'all yeah, know copyright disclaimer on section one hundred seven copyright act. Yada yada yada. Fierce single hot mama. Ooh, single hot mama. Single hot mama. And this single hot mama is coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. And can I just say, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I agree with you. <laughs> well, that bring the type of energy and fun and carefree, just realness to the show. And then also we have new housewives that are there too. Okay. And I mean, they did their thing. They did their thing. They did their thing. I will have to give them that. Whether I like them or not, you know, I ain't another thing. Okay, they did their thing. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you navigate this season? Because you were announced that yeah. you were coming back, yeah. and then a big major life update for you yeah. was announced. Y'all don't, yeah, aren't y'all a little suspicious? Like, even, like, I don't know, this ex excess Hollywood lady probably haven't peeped the tea, but she announced that she was coming back. Portia Williams is coming back to the Housewife Falls. Portia Guabadia is. And then a week later, she filed for divorce. Y'all didn't find that suspicious. It's a couple days later. So mm -hmm. how did you navigate that? As I normally do. You know what I mean? Like, I definitely had to take a deep breath and really go back in my mind and say, if I've decided to do the show again, I have to do it as authentic as I always have. Mm -hmm. I have always had, you know, real life situations that happen to happen right before filming every year. It just so happens. It happens right before the family started, child. It was just a coincidence. You know, and this was just one. And I just decided, you know what? I'm not the only one who's going, who has been or going through a divorce. And I'm just going to live my truth in front of the camera. And I just made a pact with the producers and the executives. And I just said, listen, forget a fourth wall. I just got to be me. I cannot do this unless I can just. Portia said, I'm, I need this house, child. This is all I need is the house. This is it. This is all. Speak and just, you just follow my reality. And that's that's what we did. And I think we made magic. And that is why you are a fan favorite. And that <laughs> is why we love you. Are we going to see you dating? Like, are you out? Are we going to see that? No, I ain't even divorced yet. <laughs> You're like, hold on. I mean, let me. I ain't even divorced yet. She can't be. She be throwing all that stuff up about ED. She be throwing all this stuff about being a hoe. She be posting all this stuff. And she just admitted she not divorced yet. Child, listen. Get through one side. But, um, okay, you need so how's she going to explain talking about ED if she wasn't talking about Simon, her husband? Hmm. Are you dating? I mean, you know, monkey see, monkey do. Not necessarily for me, but, you know, I'm just honestly taking my time right now. Like, my daughter is my main focus. Um, Co-parenting is my... The house isn't in foreclosure. He just... Oh, gosh. See, this is where gossip gets tricky because Portia said if the house was in foreclosure, she wouldn't know because she didn't know anything about the finances. The house is not in foreclosure. Simon has even said on the blogs, he has never missed a mortgage payment. She doesn't even know who the mortgage is paid to. So he's not going to like not pay for the house because like he just said, waive the court order where he is required to pay for the house, the HOA, the utilities, everything. So there's that. Uh, you said she's pretty much telling you she filed intentionally before filming started. Exactly, Radiant. My main focus, being a boss mom, like I am working very hard at making sure that even though now I'm back out of the house working a lot, it's jobs that pay well that I can do and spend a lot of time with my daughter. So, you know, trying to curate the right career around her now is has been my focus. I love that. I agree because it's it's just a game of gossip. You know how you tell two friends and you tell two friends and then the story changes. That's exactly what's happening. Portia put that narrative out there and nobody is listening. And people heard the word foreclosure. Now they feel like the house is in foreclosure. It's interesting. Uh, and yeah. that is so, so important. Yeah. Now I want to ask because you are a fan favorite, like I've already said. Thank you. And you are back. Thank but you. Is there a moment in time on Real Housewives of Atlanta that just really sticks out that you just were like, this was one of my favorite moments of just pure chaos? Um, a pure chaos. Ooh, see, the chaos and the favorite don't go together. I know, but they go together for fans. Girl, because Atlanta does chaos totally different, okay? Um, a child, here we go. Motherhood and career. Should I afford it? We can, let's listen, child. Good time. 
You know what? I love when we do girls trips. I love like, okay, so most times when we do international trips, we'll have outings, right? But anytime we have that pajama party and we're playing games, that's the best time to me, honestly. We have a good time. Half of that is filmed, half of them is not. I know. We need to see more of it. But look, the holiday. <sighs> I'd be having a sprout to to. I don't know. These are coming up. Yes. So we need to know who was on the naughty list and who was on the nice list on this what kind season of, of Real Housewives of Atlanta. On this season. On this season. On this season. On this season. Okay, girl, you trying to stir that. I'm trying to stir the pot. Okay, stir the pot. You getting ready for Thanksgiving. You right, Radiance. We haven't heard about no deportation, no immigration. We haven't heard about his credit being bad, him being broke. We haven't heard about any of that. The only thing that Portia is talking about right now is that house. She is focusing on that house. Now she's pushing, oh, it's in foreclosure. If it's in foreclosure, how is she still living there? That that wouldn't make sense. Yes. Okay. So I will say uh, we have Phaedra. She's on the, what's the list? The, nice or not? Nice, nice list. Okay, okay nice good. List. Um, and then you have um, Shamia. She's on the nice list. Um, then you have Kelly. She's naughty and nice. That little elf is something else. <laughs> like I, uh, uh, not Kelly is an elf. Too. I love her. We have like this little, this little go back and forth. So she's on both lists. Um, and then you have Britt. Britt is on the nice list. Like Britt is cool. So Britt is her friend. Now, think, now listen now, she really sh low-key shading Kenya because Kenya is the one who uh, tried to out Britt as being this violent person who pulled out a pow-pow you know, are, are, are threatened to. So it's interesting. Portia is praising her. Cool, a little bit understood, but she is very passionate. I like her. Um, and then you have um, Angela. Okay. Angela is on. She has made her way to the nice list. Oh, wait, is no one on the naughty list? Naughty list? On the naughty list. I mean, all of them are naughty in their way. Okay? They're all naughty in their way. So, yeah, I would, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all going to love it. I'm like, the buzz that I'm hearing around, oh. you know, Bravo is that this is the season for, uh, and before all the other seasons, honestly. Oh, you heard it here first. All right, we heard it there first. Let me go back to what I was talking about. <laughs> I just, I just got all about the letter. So Simon said that um that uh rolling out what they said about you know them notifying the government is inaccurate, and so this is what he's asking for. Hold on, child, I didn't put the thing back up though. Um, the statement published in the article constitutes defamation under Georgia law as defined in OCGA 5151. The article falsely claims that Mr. Gorbati is under federal investigation and that the quote federal government has notified the quote media about a probe in his business practices. This statement is categorically false. Mr. Gorbadia is not under any federal investigation or probe. Furthermore, the notion that federal authorities would notify the, quote, media of any such purported investigation, particularly one not publicly disclosed, is not only absurd, but recklessly misleading to readers. This unfounded allegation was broadly circulated through Rolling Out's popular website and expansive social media channels. By accusing Mr. Guobadia of criminal and unethical conduct, the article directly harms his personal and professional reputation. Simon said he is out here fighting for his reputation. And he if he got to spend all his money on legal notices and letters and cease and desist and threats to the, to the blogs, he is going to do it. And I don't blame him, Randy. Um, by accusing Mr. Guabati of criminal and unethical conduct, the article directly harms his personal and professional reputation. Moreover, the complete lack of factual basis for these claims reveals a reckless disregard for the truth, demonstrating actual malice under the standard set, set forth in New York Times Company versus Sullivan, 376 U.S. 254 in 1964. Pursuant to OCGA 51511, this letter serves as formal notice and demand that rolling out do as follows as soon as possible. Oh, child, this is getting messy. Retract the defamatory statements concerning Mr. Guabadia immediately and unequivocally unequivocally <laughs> remove the article from all digital platforms including rolling outs website and any social media accounts issue a public apology and correction prominently displayed on rolling outs homepage social media platforms and any other outlets where the article has been disseminated and 
confirm compliance with these demands in writing no later than December 1st, 2024. Failure to comply with this demand will leave Mr. Guabadio with no choice but to pursue all legal remedies, including initiating a defamation lawsuit under Georgia law and seeking damages, attorney's fees, and injunctive relief. This notice is not intended to be a complete recitation of Mr. Guabadio's rights, remedies, or damages, and all such rights are expressly reserved. Y'all better be careful about what you say about these people, especially these people with money, honey. Uh, you said Portia need to kill Simon back at his house and she need to go back to her own house. I bet Simon, hey, he ever met Portia. I mean, listen, everybody faced their own karma. Maybe he faced his own karma by having to deal with this, but this is a lot to go through. <laughs> This is a lot. Like, if you get divorced, why not you just go on, go on about your business? I go on about my business. You ain't gotta like smear my name and my business. Like, it's almost like she's trying to destroy like everything. The man's business, the man's reputation, the man's love life, the man's this, the man's that. Girl, just move on. Like, he is not Cordell. Okay. Cordell did what he did. This is a different person. This person has not did all that to you. Okay. Uh, Simon's lawyer, you might as well set up a tent at the courthouse. <laughs> May as well, okay?